in terms of like when you have uh, lane swaps, do you like it whenever people are changing positions like this in the middle of a series, or do you would you rather still people keep it even if it is a favorable hero matchup that you get out of it? Only if you are very good. There's not much players that can do that. Mm -hmm. And look, Puck has Orb of Venom. I think Puck's oh, wow. playing on the side lane. Is it yeah. like carry Puck? Yeah, I don't know if you would start a stick in the mid lane versus Kanka. So I, I would agree with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this definitely feels like you're landing against the Timber. Huh. Huh. Well, I mean, Puck has been doing a lot more on the right click build. Uh, the Witchblade has been really cool. People will even go a Parasma later on. I don't think this is the worst thing in the world. However, I have yet to be sold on it. <laughs> Somebody please check on Parker Dota. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just switched P PCs. They uh, they got up, walked around, and then they uh, they sat at their desks. Is it playing the the carry puck? <sighs> I don't know, man. I, I I know that, like, you know, with the nature of pubs, you are going to be playing adjacent positions every once in a while. Just because you, you'll get two safe laners on your team. One of them will either say, like, hey, I want to play or a little just whine, whatever it is, and you won't be playing your position anymore. But I am surprised that they're doing it this way. I don't know. Orb of Venom on the buck. I'm curious because you only deal like two magic damage per second. Yeah. Four percent slow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of gold for that too. I mean, you almost have to be going in, and it looks like he is going in for the orb of corrosion afterwards. So that attack speed. Yeah. It's it's got to be the nature of the attack speed, and he's going for the orb as well. Help him secure maybe some creeps. But I, I'm so interested in this lane. This is very curious to me. I won't move my camera from bottom. <laughs> well, uh, they're trading over here in the side as well. We did think this was going to be a Hiko lion, right? Or a Hiko tusk. And instead, he is the one that picked up the lion. And we kind of said, like, this needed to be a pause for lion. It's the only way I think that this timber lane goes very well. You just had to pick a good hero to play with the tusk on the lane. Duza. Does that pretty, pretty well. We, we were talking about the uh, Luna. With the Dusa, it's similar. Yeah. And Devil. Ooh! Good luck, good luck. We got a snake. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Uh, devil. Yeah. At least he forced the fairy fire. Mm hmm. Ooh! Wyvern just barely going. Wow. I, I did catch it, but yeah, I, I almost missed that one. Just to look at how much damage he takes in one second. I want to say this is like 300 that just gets like ripped through him on the Wyvern. Very unfortunate there. But a first blood going to FCR. We love to see it. Yeah, all, all it took was us looking at top lane, right? I know, right? As soon as we look away, then they want to get to, they want to dance with each other. Looks like this mid lane. Ah, uh, this boy. I mean, you picked this matchup. You, you literally said, like, I don't want to play Puck into this one. Give me SF instead. Little, I mean, we kind of thought that was the carry pick. Instead, we know it is a lane matchup here. And then top side, they do end up losing the Dusa. Devil gets the kill. I, I will say, this lane gets a lot easier once you get the raindrops. The Centaur does a surprising amount of magical damage, but until then, yeah, Medusa will feel a little pressured. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the power spikes here. Level 2, level 3 as well. You need those snowball on the Tusk. Mm-hmm. They don't have a quad and blade here to cut the tree from the Ooh. drink. I watched it. I watched it happen. They just stuck right on the winter wyvern. She has this second point of cold embrace, and I, I know it's helping her in some ways, but it almost feels like it's just setting her for death sometimes. It's just prolonging the inevitable. And now with the Orb of Corrosion, it's five damage. What the damage. hell? They instantly TP both supports into the mid lane here alone got an awesome raise onto all three of them but unfortunately that's not enough they get the kill and then bot side because they tp'd in these supports jim park he gets the solo kill 
on FCR, I will say, for as much as they just kind of sacked the mid lane with this SF pick, it feels, they do have a pretty good kill potential on the side lane with tons of magic damage from Pac. It was not for free, right? They TP two supports. Mm -hmm. Timber dies. It's the five damage, damage per second. But... Mm -hmm. I don't know. The, uh, the orb corrosion is simply too much. This solo queue should never happen. Yeah. And, oh, yo, the sampler actually on FCR. That is interesting. I wonder if he saw the orb corrosion and was like, well, I know what he wants to do. I guess I have to go for a point in it. Yeah, Puck just wants to right click with this build. Huh. A lot of attack speed. Oh man, Stinger once again trading. Now he can right on top of him. He's actually just gonna drain his mana while he's in. <laughs> and then uh, walk him down a little bit more. I mean, none of them are getting a ton of XP for this. Yo, I don't think he should get this kill. Yeah, okay. Nah. Let's battle him back Here's well. Yeah. That's kind of hard. I mean, he's like right in this window. Yeah, he's coming back. <gasps> and he just but saw the work place, I think. He saw it. He should have saw no it. Way he didn't see it. I don't know. He must not have been like staring at the wyvern. I mean, he did place it under a ward. So I feel like they should get it, but we'll see. It's like... He might be bringing sentries. Oh, top side! Oh, almost got the kill on your and... Uh... Yeah, no, should be bringing some sentries here for that one. Oh! <laughs> From downtown, dude, the bushwhack gets the kill. Well done on the hoodwink here. Now, HFN is getting some CS. And hey, you go, yeah, it goes down. Finally, just get that kill. Hasn't got a D word yet, doesn't have the sentries. Yeah, he, he, he'll do that soon. I have to say, this hoodwink is playing very well. Mm hmm. Yeah, their sidelines are going pretty well. Unfortunately, for double, the CS isn't too great, but those kills will start to add up, right? Yeah, they will. Sir Wyvern died three times already. It's time to stop. Oh yeah, no Wyvern. Need... It'll be unfortunate because you know FCR with a lot of gold, uh, it'll be a uh, very hard to deal. Timbersaw is already an awesome hero. Beating him in the early game is gonna be even rough. He's already got the Helm of Iron Will. So that veil coming up strong soon. And it looks like in the mid lane, use the Requiem on Mr. Jeans and Michael trying to body block him here. Unfortunately, it looks like they will not have enough. They did bring the supports in again. Yeah, Mr. Jeans is not having a lot of fun on his mid lane. <laughs> With the help of the supports, he's coming back slowly. Yeah, well, I mean, neither is the SF. On the net worth, he's actually got a slightly higher net worth than I'm... I'm assuming it's mostly because of the regen, right? Yes. A lot of rotations here as well. Yeah. Yeah, no, it feels like there's been slightly more rotations from the Conquer, right? So, a little bit more bottle refills in that vein. It looks like bottom, so FCR did hit level 6. He's trying to rip through the puck. This is one of the harder carries. I, I say carry as if that's normal, but... Heroes in a side lane that get safe lane farm to kill as a timber song. He really wants this kill. Winter is coming. Shadow Fiend is coming too. Oh, yeah. So Jim Park has to bait here. Yeah, I mean, they did bring Steiner down, so he's going to help out. Kind of push them away. But as you said, there are two supports coming on the back. The viewer and Heiko, so we'll see. Yeah. There's a lot of defensive wards on Madison's jungle. <laughs> He feeds out of it, but the snowball coming. Do they have the damage? They do. Now, Coil goes down. A ton of magic damage already sitting on FCR, and he'll rip through alone. However, in his death, his last wish will get himself two kills for alone. And, well, Mr. Jeans, he'll make sure that they end up winning this engagement outright. It is a three for two trade, and Mr. Jeans is the one who stands strong in the end of it all. It was like five kills. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Jeez, that double kill with the Rackham. Mm hmm. He could just stack. F Share is gonna farm there. He's getting a lane here on Timber, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. What's uh... happening on the. Top side, the Chefens just 
hitting crips. Centaur has six now. They could try to bring some help here to push the Dusa out of the lane. Maybe gank other lane. Michael is gonna stack the triangle. Mm -hmm. Oh man, a little bit of a fight bottom. Oh, coil down, and it looks like they will get Heiko. So, a little bit of a trade out. He was worth a lot of gold though. Oh my. Yeah, he just got the double kill. He will. He is five one, on the lion. He has one hundred percent kill participation. Goodness. For now. Stack spotted, your. Mm hmm. And it looks like, let's see. It was the Hoodwink, right? Who's uh, picking them out? I don't know. They, are they going on top? It looks like they got a little bit of an X mark going on, Michael. Starting oh. off, it looks like, but looks like they did turn oh. away. Oh. Oh? All messy. Little bit disconnected there. That should be a kill. Mm-hmm. I will say, oh no, they're starting to block the camps. Centaur doesn't have stampede yet. Five seconds. Yeah, and they are going to get an exploit off. Using the curse, though, trying to get Devil out of here. He uses the ulti to escape for a second. And the rest of the team, it looks like they do have to back out. They do not have the HP, I think, to keep this one going. Why run out of the tower, though? Oh, she's still healthy. I don't know if they have the damage to dive her like this. They don't want to dive it. Oh, but they do have the damage to kill the timber. What? Yeah, nice rotation. Way easier if you have the coil, right? Mm hmm There are not many carries that can provide some team fighting spells. Puck is definitely one of these. If you consider it here as a carry. <laughs> I know, right? Like team this... Park does. It's so weird. It seems like it's working, right? As of now, I mean, are we going to start running into issues later on for this hero being your carry? Or is this an okay as long as alone kind of transfers into that kind of physical damage output? I think this hero scales very well. That's just it. Does a lot of damage. You just have to be fast fingers with your gameplay. Ha, now this is a fleet. And it's out farming the Dusa for now. That's the big part, right? I mean, Dusa, once you get to that Manta, it'll probably get a little bit easier, but as of now, I mean, should be okay. It looks like they are going to try to go in the mid lane once more. X into the boat. The scurry was already used. Has another charge of it soon, and the boat is just slightly off from Mr. Jeans. Okay, is going straight to the eggs. I like it. A lot of team fight. You probably have to wait for the next boat to do the next move. Lion's trying to get the six as well. Now he has it. Oh, level 10 on the puck already. Oh man. He is. I mean, I don't know. Again, we didn't have the biggest faith in this one, but the Witchblade is a huge increase, right? I mean, you should see some solo codes, and then he's going for the Mage Slayer. That item is just going to destroy the damage that FCR and honestly, even a little bit of the Kunkka is going to be doing. Oh, it was a gang attempt, I think, on the mid lane. They're smoked. They're still looking. They have to rotate now. Mm hmm. Before the mage layer. Oh boy. Smoke up gets the stun on the tusk, and there it is. Immediately taken out there on your. Didn't even have a chance to get the snowball out, right? Yeah, no, not at all. That was just so fast. 
He didn't even see it in time. He's already top farming on the centaur. Applying some pressure on the tower. They still have the six on Lion and OT available. Ace run. Yeah, let's... Sorry, I had to fix the mic. Thank you for carrying Ace. And look, yeah, so alone. He's able to get the Wisdom Rune trading out. It looks like now he's up to level 12 as well. And so far, it's just like an even game all over. Who do you think is favoring this late game? Because both teams are kind of content to farm right now. I mean, it's Dooza, right? I hope so. It has to be the Dooza. And it looks like, oh boy, Timber trying to get out of this one. I don't know. FCR, can he get away? They need a little bit more. Jumping oh, himself dead. through, and yeah, that lights click. It followed him the whole way out. Alone gets two of them. And man, this SF for Alone is owning for sure right now for Mad Kings. They're even gonna get themselves a tower, maybe. And they, and they brought the numbers. They need to be faster on the dire if they wanna really contest these ganks. There's a lot of burst damage on the Mad King's lineup. Mm hmm We need to be there already. Oh, dude. <laughs> the devil is aggressively blink blinking in everywhere. He wants to just find more and more kills. Timber. Yeah. They want to kill the centaur. Well... Oh, uh, we'll see if he can get away from this one again. Uses the ulti, has a blink even, but no, the last good from the lion. It connects just in time. Can he get out? No, he's gonna get caught. And yeah, as you said, the timber needed for the damage, and they're even bringing in the Kunkka, so they will get it. This is four people sitting on the bottom corner of the map, so <laughs> doesn't always feel great, but uh, certainly enough for them right now. Yeah, and uh, of course, Mad Kings is trying to do something about it on the other side of the map. It's never a free kill. Mm -mm. Never, never, never. Let's see. What? After the Mage Slayer, now Puck is going to be going for the uh, Kaya Sound. Now, even though the Pucks are going for this right-click build, you never see the, uh, the Yasha Kaya. It's always you want the tank up and you want the spell damage. Why don't you ever want the right-click with the Yasha? Yeah, but you need the sun, so it's harder to catch you. Hmm, okay. Status is too good. Yeah. Pretty much it. The HP as well. The whole package. The whole thing. It's all so good. Uh, looks like, ooh. Yeah. You can try to surprise this puck, but look, there is a ward on the lane seeing the dust coming. Mm. So that makes it obvious. Damn. I doubt Jim Park is gonna die here. That nah, shouldn't. I mean, she's everything oh, happening. Mate. He doesn't know about the dagger. That might catch catch him by surprise. I think there's a cover already. Oh, yeah. I mean, Devil's actually coming over. Right? He takes the outpost right in front yeah, of him. They don't know about the lane ward. Oh, Coil down. Yo, he shards himself through, but I think he is still going to fall. Maybe no, he gets the snowball off. Jim Park dodges it out. And uh, well, that punch will be, I think, the last thing that he does here. They'll get the kill. And Mad Kings, they might take this one into the Roche Pit. Yeah, they have those Cold Embrace to help out. So easy pick up. Five heroes, though. Some space for the Konka and the Doos on the bottom lane. Yeah, but it doesn't feel so bad bringing the fire when you can get this Roshan. It's gonna be the first one pre-20 minutes. And, uh, I mean, if we're going on do so watch, she does have the Manta style, and she's going in for the Butterfly. I I'm, I'm still okay with this. I think at this point, given the, what the Puck and the Shadow, uh, Shadow Fiend are doing, you are dealing with mostly physical damage right now. Yeah, with the Butterfly, he'll be very tanky. They still need to hit some timings on... White Dragons, they need the Aghanims on the Konka. 
so they can fight. This butterfly is not mandatory, I would say, but okay. he would prefer to farm the item if he has the chance. Oh. Ooh. He almost had it, man. Almost had it. This line here is insane. He actually only went for three points in the uh, the mana drain. We had seen some people going for the mana drain shard first, actually before the blink dagger, but in this game, I do like the blink, especially because I think a lot of the reason we picked this here was because of the puck, right? Yes, might be. And he had such a good early game, 5-1, like in eight minutes. So going for the dagger is okay here. He got it pretty early. This puck yeah. is tanky. Look. And he yeah. got the gro grove bro grove bow as well. Ooh, yeah. I mean this mage slayer is boy. This mage slayer is contributing to so much of the tank. Like the fact that you can just click this on SCR and all of a sudden forty percent of his outgoing magic damage is done. I mean he needs this veil. <laughs> he needs to increase the damage taken by spells because he's losing so much of it. I'm not opposed to taking the occasional bounty. He was buying Shroud, right? He has yes. it. Yeah. With my help. For sure. Yeah, I mean, you need to stop taking any magic damage that you can. He's got two points in the reactive. As he gets more of that, he'll protect himself for the physical two, so... We'll see. I mean, at this point, they just have to survive the Aegis of Alone. There's still a ton of tier twos on the board. And we'll see. Oh boy, jump through with the ulti from Centaur. Now he's just gonna boat himself on the Kunkka, giving him that extra damage resist. But look at everybody just beating into the Kunkka. So hard for him to get away. A beautiful stun right. actually, but they'll end up using the Winter's Curse as well. Alone, charging up that ulti. He gets stopped just once, but he'll get it off the second time and they will lose the line. Now HFN trying to turn around. I don't think he has enough damage in the tank to continue this fight for his team. So he'll do his best to get FCR out, but I think once he's past the tier two, it's all on his lonesome for FCR. HFN, he's got to protect himself. They were close to turn on this fight. White Dragons. Kunkap Kunka was not able to use the torrents. Yeah, no, wasn't able to get the... It's the, the torrent storm, yeah. Had that gone off, I mean, maybe it's better, right? Certainly don't get the ulti off on Shadow Friend. Yeah, they will be probably forcing at least the BKB charge on the SF. Yeah, that's true. I mean, at this point, you saw the way that that fight went. They just started with the coil on to Mr. Jeans. I honestly thought he was tankier than that, but because he went for the water park build, he's actually not as thick as I thought. Do we need to start waiting for him to get this BKB or? I mean, it looks like I they're going to try to fight now. Time. Yeah, they're going to try to get the puck here. Water park out and the punch up. FCR is actually the one to pick up the kill. Desperately needed kill for the side of the White Dragons. Uh, and we're getting, we're getting close to the Shivas now then on, on FCR. Yeah, that, that was just Parker playing alone. <laughs> Not with alone. <laughs> True, he didn't share control. He was just by himself. Yeah. And on uh, Aegis is going to be out in about two minutes here. He went for the Hurricane Pike, so a little bit... More mobility from him. I like it. Uh, we don't often see this Shadow Fiend core. Uh, I mean, I guess Shadow Fiend at all. We don't see it at support. I want to clarify that, but we don't see it much right now <laughs> in this current meta. Uh, and so far, Alone's been putting up a really good time with it. They're even going to get themselves a outpost here, but I had some questions, especially with how the laning stage started, but he's made this look really good. Yeah, what can I say? He's just a very good Shadow Fiend player. Mm -hmm. He was playing the hero mate as well, so in the past, he always making a, an excuse for the captain to play to pick the hero. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, it always happens, man. Every player, you're looking at the the freest Dragon Knight game, and they go, "No, give me the Earth Spirit. I want to play that hero instead." And you can give the worst reasons ever, but it's just because you don't want to play the boring hero. Everybody has that Cobra on their teams. Oh, Ooh, wow! That was a pro. This is the second time he's done that. He is very good at. He might, he might have been in that situation a lot of times. <laughs> I've been running for my life all the time, every Dota game. It's just a game of survival. 30 seconds for the Aegis to expire. Asaf is relying on the Stumpy to oh boy. run away. Yeah, and they're going to get the Bushwhack on Tusk. Not able to get away from this one. 
with the snowball. So they end up getting the tower, and as you said, Age is just about to run out, so pretty much perfect timing from Mad Kings. They get one tier two, they get a few kills. I'm sure they would have liked to have one more tower, but this is still fine for an Aegis, you know, used up at 23 minutes. Uh, that was expensive, having to use the Stampede and the Coil, which I found went for the Scotty instead of the Butterfly. They can try to smoke here for White Dragons. Yeah, they could. I mean, we have... So, actually, ended up going into the Scotty first, which uh, I, I like. I think that the, the beefiness is good. You still don't do damage until you finish the Butterfly, but he's not too far off, I imagine. Only a thousand gold away if he has the rest of the components in his uh, courier right now. They need to land the smoke. They can try to get catch Barker on the mid lane with the dagger and the lion. Yeah. Get the first start here into the torrent and even the boat. Now he does have the protection from the both boat buffs up. now. They're very well done from the Kunkka here, trying to run away on the tusk. A lot of tick damage right now from Puck coming out, but oh, they actually do find the X into the torrent storm, but the torrent storm I think is just a little bit too far behind. So we'll get away on Puck. We'll That's see if they anybody else though. No, oh, he's not! Oh, Lord! <laughs> Michael finds him from the other side of the map, it felt like. And now Puck will go in, gets the kill on Heiko, and now also with the ulti from alone, they're turning back on the FCR. The magic damage, this is way too much! Throws out one Chakram in defense, but it's not enough to keep him alive here. It's three gone, and that was the after Aegis fight. That was after the Centaur. Well done yeah. from Mad Kings. Problem there is that Lion just died so fast. Mm. They really needed the lion to stop the shadow fiend. They can definitely fight if they click together. Uh, he has an amp damage rune on HFN. Uh, this is the one time that your Medusa actually does damage with just a Scotty. However, silence up. No more mana. The, the lion has a trainer, I think. You can't let him get away with this. Yeah, get more. This snowball save. Please, somebody give HFN more mana. They're going to turn on her, I imagine, with the puck. But no, he yeah, does jaunt later, but doesn't stay for long. Where's the defensive mana drain? I Come know. on, Hiko. I know. I was waiting for it. I feel like, honestly, in this game, you just go for the shard next because you can not only give the Medusa more mana, but you can also simultaneously drain everybody else on your team. So you're basically funneling everybody's mana on Mad Kings into your Medusa. And it looks like in right? the triangle, they're still going. They get the snowball into the stun. They get the kill on alone. The FCR picks it up. An eye for an eye. They continue the fight. And that's a 2,000 gold swing going the way of the White Dragons. And pretty similar, similar place from both teams because... They went on that triangle knowing that Duza did not have OT anymore. And now mm -hmm. SF didn't have BKB, so they just invade the triangle. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Oh boy. Next up, do we get it? Yo! <laughs> FCR, baby! I'm not biased. I, I think he's just having a great game. Yeah, Parker just underestimating the rotation from White Dragons. Carries always want one more wave, right? I know, it's that one more. I've tried to do a good job of myself, like, don't take the cart, okay? We're trimming everything down. Just don't stay and right-click the cart for 30 seconds, all right? You'll live once or twice more per game. But unfortunately, uh... Did stay under the tier one. Sometimes that's safe. This time it wasn't. They do get the hex up on the wyvern as well. A rip through and Hiko getting another one for him. He does finish the full glimmer, and now we're looking into the Aghanim shard. They do have a tormentor they they could take on the other side if they wanted to go back for it. But uh, what's your opinion on that? I, I don't really like losing the map control usually for just the shard. Depends on the carry. If he wants to be there for some reason, mm, okay. if they want to group there for a smoke so they can kill that before. Maybe he wants to farm the Ancients, then he calls his team to go there. Okay. Looks like HFN, yo, my Dusa, getting a lot of farm. We're close. About 500 gold away from the Claymore that'll finish the Butterfly. It's weird seeing that that's like this new build instead of the quarter staff, but I like it, of course. People really wanted to see the Butterfly with just slightly more damage instead of all in on the attack speed and evasion. Yeah, it's it's Radiant just weird. Scan. I agree. Radiant scan. But they knew they were there. Mm-hmm. They have a hu oh, huge ward down nice there, too. Ward. Oh. Yes. That's so nice. They I have didn't to, know like, exactly what's smoke. happening. 
they really want to fight, they should smoke. Yeah. I mean, they smoked, but SF should be in the smoke as well. Yeah, okay. He's gonna, get, he's gonna get sneezed on. He smoked up too. He's got this Diffusal Blade, which I really like. Of course, the Disperser might be the second best item, honestly, to Mage Slayer. I still think that Mage Slayer is better. Oh boy. Oh. Shiva's is gonna connect on a few here. They find the Tusk. Wanna burst him down immediately using the coil, and they will get the kill. Now he's caught up by the torrent and immediately gets broken by the center. So he's dead. He does fall for it. But this is right on top of the dire outpost. So they're able to TP back in and get the fight. It's a double buyback from the supports. And they want to take this fight in with Stainer. He goes down first. That ulti from the Wyvern Curse. It didn't do too much. Now they've locked in alone. He's got to force that himself away. Can they keep on chasing? SCR using the shock room to slow him down. Alone will BKB to continue the chase through. Wants to use the ulti eventually. But HFN on the back line. He's taking everybody away. He's got the kill in Jim Park. They got the punch up on alone. Another kill. Your does die for it in the dieback, but FCR will tip him, buddy. It is well worth your buyback and even your dieback to get the triple kill yeah. on HFN. This Tusk, this Tusk saved the fight. He was the first one to die. Centaur just jumped and killed him with the puck, but he just bought back and saved the fight. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't even... How, how did Puck die, by the way? I don't know. Yeah, let me click on that... Uh. Oh, okay. Many, many stuns. Oh, <laughs> Stone gaze, okay. Earth Spike so Torn. also did a lot of jobs yeah. here. No, that's good. I, I will say, I mean, something with picking the puck so early sometimes is that often I, whenever I see like a successful puck game, it's because there's no heroes like Lion or even like Kunkka, honestly, that have some sort of like either AOE dis disable that you have to watch out for, like these instant hexes that the, the Lion provides. So. Uh, really hard right now for Mad Kings, and this Aegis is likely going to the Medusa if they do kill it in the next 20 seconds. Hopefully it doesn't run away from them. It will not. Right? Alright, boy, I hope not. Nine. Eight. Oh, ah! It's fine. Ooh, okay, okay, close. okay. <laughs> Yeah, Dusa, Aegis, Butterfly. How do they deal with HFN now? 22 already. Yeah, I mean, he is very, very farmed. Going in for the Daedalus next. I love this, man. Whenever you're able to just go pure damage after this on the Dusa, don't have to buy the BKB. You know you're in a good spot because look at this. There's a Puck, there's an SF. Even the Centaur, you feel like you should want a BKB, but they don't feel so right now. Parker does end up getting the kill on Hiko, and now they're looking on at the river, try, trying to send himself away again on the Tusk, but can't get him out. Deuce is in a little bit of danger, though. Gets cursed. Can she chase back down? It looks like this is a high ground fight. This could be really rough, but she forces herself in. Another coil down, but with the ulti from alone, trying to send everybody away. HFN, not a whole lot of mana left. There's no line to give her any more, but she's still got the Aegis, so even if you could take her down once, I don't think it's gonna happen. Two gone, HFN getting a few I kills. Dying. Oh, and Jim Parky showing himself too. A bushwhack is nice, but as he said, they already lost HFN on the backside. And the FCR, does he live through this one? The Mage Slayer, it's doing so much, but he lives. Know. It was a full team wipe, right? Hoodwink mm -hmm. had to buy back. That's true. That is true. And only the supports die in. Dyer's middle tower yeah, it's it's tower. getting out of hand. I, I don't think Mad Kings can team fight anymore. Yeah, I mean, I don't. It was a 4,000 net worth swing, as you said. It was a team wipe. Uh. Another thing that the defusal is good for is hitting the Dusa. So maybe when we have some evasion pierce from alone, it's possible that they're able to get themselves a few more kills on her. But until then, I'm not so sure. And that's why carry matchups wins you the game. <laughs> Who's taking down the Dusa? Uh, yeah, no, for sure. This is a, a really hard one. I mean, it's mostly because of the net worth lead, right? I think had you only needed to deal with either the evasion or the mana shield, it's fine. But because it's a Dusa that's so far ahead, you have to deal with the both of them. And even when you do start hitting her, you've got a huge mana shield to chew through. So, ugh. 
He has a lot of HP as well. 1.8, not bad. Yeah, and that coil is down. They're trying to get a kill. They will take down your now. Devil is zooming onto the backside. They want to take down the line, and they will. Once again, we are starting this fight with both supports gone from White Dragons. But is it enough to secure them this fight? FCR rips through Devil to get themselves another kill, trying to take down Stinner as well to do so. But HFN, not a whole lot of mana left. Still has two minutes left on the Aegis, and maybe willing to burn the first one here. Looks like they will. Oh, the Torrent. Yeah, it does connect. But an ulti, okay, used on the Konka, so he is locked up by the Winner's Curse. But Mr. Jeans, he's he's also so beefy. Look at this man. 3,800, he's got a cheese in the backpack as well. This isn't even with a heart. This is just with an Octarine Corn and Ags. Yeah, he was baiting with the cheese. <laughs> yep, nice read. They can keep killing them. Not sure if they will force high ground here. I don't think they uh, have to. Yeah, it's without the Aegis, right? I think that's the only thing they're thinking about. I, I, they know they're ahead for sure, but do you really want to go up and possibly get bursted? I don't know. And do this 25. Oh, yeah. You don't want to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it. Well, Mad Kings. Yeah, Mad Kings. They're I mean, shaking right now. What's their what's their option? All right, you're you're sitting there. You're the coach for Mackins using it. It's okay, guys. I know this way to get you back in the game. What are you telling them? Only by outplaying White Dragons. Okay, okay. In the normal fight, I don't see them killing this Dusa. And now Dusa kills everyone. Yeah. It's very hard to kite the Dusa at this point. Mm-hmm. I guess They're so. doing a good job on the Mad Kings, killing the supports. Supports yeah. are just enabling the Dusa in the fights. Mm -hmm. But Dusa can do can do a lot a lot by himself by herself. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of uh, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of my issue in these fights right now. Like I think the Devil is playing these very very well. He's using the Stampede and just killing both supports right away with his puck. But like, if you're not winning fights where both supports are gone to start off, like, how do you fix that? I honestly don't know. I mean, it's, I think it comes down to alone, right? He was making this uh, SF look very good to start off, and now we're starting to hit a little bit of a lull where we need to see some sort of adjustment. He's going in for the crit stick. Ah, I feel like you need to hit through evasion. I don't know if your your raw output is the issue. I think you need to start hitting them. They do use the Bushwhack, trying to lock into the Medusa. They use the Coil, lock in this Tusk as well. It could be another fight where we see some supports go down early. Alone will use the ulti right on top of the Medusa, but he just doesn't have the tank. They lose two right away, and now Park, he's the only one left on the puck. And I mean, Stainer, he goes down. You're looking at Michael and just the puck left. I mean, I, they might have to call it soon. It's okay to call it now. Oh no, I think, yeah, somebody's gonna call it after this death if it happens here. A little bit more, trying to storm him away, but Jim Park, he will get into the base just barely. Now Mr. Jean's actually in a little bit of danger. Uh, one more hit, and Puck does connect with Michael, they'll get it. You know, a BKB from Park as well, trying to take down the Lion. He'll get it, but the Medusa will take him down to return. Oh. Yep, the crit game. GG. GG, game number two, or game number one, going to the hands of the White Dragons. Uh, this is, I, I'd say, a little bit of an upset. I don't think it's a crazy upset, but uh, Mad Kings were invited, and the White Dragons came through from the open qualifier, so it's a first one for them. Uh, I would love I to see this happen again. 